Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Adonai Greetings, Royal Dragon Nation of the Rainbow Tribes of the New Earth. Welcome to September, the month to remember. As the veils lift, we are getting recalls of that which was lost. Today we begin a new wave spell of the Red Dragon, Emish. Beginning on this day with Kin 1, Red Magnetic Dragon. This is the Divine Feminine Fire Dragon, Yang within Yin. We also have a powerful galactic activation portal on the Mayan calendar, bringing in some very intense new frequencies with the final Omega codes concealed within these bands of frequency. The little light beams of white light on the Schumann with amplitudes of 14 hertz, 26, 34, and 49 hertz shows the energies are coming in rapid fire succession to help accelerate the transformation codes for our assistance from the light on high. These are quanta packets of information that speak directly to the consciousness of our DNA spirals. These filaments of light make up the fabric of space-time and hold this reality together. The superconscious mind is like the glue that holds all the pieces of the puzzle of the great mystery together. It is the web that connects all life, which is the frequency of the eternal sound. The heart of Creator is the resonating chamber in which we call the music of the spheres and is the source of all light language. Way shores you lead the way to this heart chamber within what we call the kingdom of heaven. The doorway is the crystal palace at the center of the brain, the sacred temple that entombs the divine glands, the pineal and pituitary. This place is the passageway to the queen's chamber and the middle dantian, heart center. Keep holding the light, keep holding the codes, keep holding the line. There is a line of light codes we hold within our mind and DNA that together completes the source code of Creator to manifest the simulation of heaven on earth. When the time is right, the 144,000 lines will merge as one new program to free humanity and right what has been wronged and usher in the eternal golden age of peace, bliss, and abundance for all sentient beings of pure light. Aho! And with these powerful energies pulsing in over the last 24 hours, we had many activations and great earth changes all over this realm. More flooding in Virginia from Hurricane Ida, Thailand massive flooding, South Sudan, New Zealand, and India. Also Mount Etna massive eruption, the 50th time of 2021. There's many other volcanoes, especially around the Ring of Fire, that are erupting at this moment. This is Pachamama releasing and purging all of the nefarious false negative energies that have been trapped within her energy body. Over the last 24 hours, we had 131 M1.5 or Greater Earthquakes, most powerful Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is Divine Masculine Energy. The New Atlantis 5.7 earlier today, again in the root chakra of Pachamama, South Sandwich Islands, multiple activations, 5.6, 5.1, southeast of Loyalty Islands on the Ring of Fire 5.1, West Chile Rise 4.9, Indonesia 4.5, Fukushima, Japan 4.3, Tonga 5.2, and the Sacred Portal, Romania 4.4, 4, 149 kilometers depth, 444 portal, Divine 44 coming in. San Antonio de los Cobres, Argentina, 4.2. Then we had the 5.7 in Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Quinton, Oklahoma, the heart of United States, 3.0, 7 kilometers depth, 37 into the 73. Heaven on Earth, south of Fiji, 4.6. Chile 5-6, Fukushima another activation, and Japan 4-6, Spring Creek, Nevada 3.0. Then right on the equator, north of Ascension Island 5.3, 8 of the Ascension, Japan 4-2, Alaska Peninsula 3.2, and then in the Sacred Portal, Afghanistan 
with a 5.0 10 kilometers depth, 5 into the 10. And this is where the three holy mountains merge together, Tian Xian in the north, Celestial Mountain, Kunlun in the middle, the sine wave, this is the divine feminine, the downward flow of the waters, and the Himalayan of the south of the old masculine Kundalini of the earth. 5.05 5 elements that create the 10,000 things. And this evening, as White Gold Eagle, my 12th dimensional higher form from 12D Venus, was connecting on our balcony right as the sun was setting with the Galactic Federation of Light, a murmuration of birds flew overhead, and it was very beautiful patterns, looking like a school of fish swimming through a coral reef. This was the winged nation coming in who are emissaries and messengers from our galactic federations. And this afternoon the crows came to me as I was surrounded by their cawing. This is bringing in the light languages from our winged nations, especially the blue avians. They are of the sphere alliance, 555 coming in. And now real quick for our tribe on Patreon, being the first of the month again, Many of you had dropped out of the group. This happens the first of every month, so if you could do us a favor and please check to see that the transaction went through if you'd like to continue supporting us in our work and mission. And for those that would like to join our tribe on Patreon, you could do so at whitegoldeagle.com. Now let us continue with the current Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 11 degrees, 57 minutes Cancer. The sun is at 9 degrees, 58 minutes Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 10 degrees Virgo. Two heads looking out and beyond the shadows. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 12 degrees Cancer. A Chinese woman nursing a baby whose aura reveals him to be the reincarnation of a great teacher. From astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the tarot deck, Dreams of Gaia, from Raven Phelan. And the card she pulled for you today is 21, Perception. The keywords, perception, understanding, worldview, opinion of self, clarity, objectivity. The key phrases are perception shapes your worldview, understand what your senses tell you, knowledge and understanding are limited, changed perception cannot be unchanged, is your perception clouded? Take the high ground. Seek a new perspective. Challenge your perception. Who influences your perception? Do you have all the facts? Represent yourself honestly and watch for false perceptions. Meaning perception, the fifth of the influence cards, pertains to the organization, identification, and interpretation of sensory information in order to understand what we sense and experience. When the perception card appears in your reading, it symbolizes an opportunity or need to look at how you analyze and interpret your experiences, and how your interpretation then influences your choices and ability to see and weigh options and opportunities. Our lives are built upon the foundations laid by our perception. How we perceive the world and those around us influences our ability to learn, our understanding of cause and effect, our ability to see and weigh our options and to make decisions. There is no area in our life that is not influenced by our perception. Our lives can be empowered and fulfilled because how we perceive our reality gives us confidence. Or our lives can be destroyed in an instant if our idea of what is real is revealed to be a lie and our perception is shattered. Our perception can be accurate and precise. It can also be false and founded in misinformation, illusion, or imagination. Our knowledge, the knowledge we possess that is born of education, study, and practical application, can increase our perceptiveness. However, our knowledge can be limited. It can be inaccurate and flawed. For example, our knowledge of other people is limited by the fact that we only know what they reveal to us, and then we process and analyze that information by making comparisons to ourselves. However, they are not us. They may be like us in some ways, but completely different in more ways. We do not know their innermost thoughts and feelings, so what we know of them is often based on little fact and a lot of assumption. Our perceptions can shift and alter and be enhanced in a heartbeat once new information born of a different perspective is provided. Once it is altered, it cannot be restored to what it was. 
Even if what we believe to be truth is revealed to be an illusion, and what we once perceived to be an illusion is revealed to be the truth, there is no reset button for our perception. Our perception of what is simply changes and alters as our awareness increases. Every change to our perception changes our reality, and every change to our reality influences the choices we make. Now today from Divine Sistar of the Light, S.A. Smith, Schumann resonance little streaks equal big energies. What a night, or for our Australian followers, what a morning. No matter how you've experienced it, the last eight hours had some of our most intense energies to date. Those spikes mark the very high point of the energies. These energies were popping us back and forth between physically and emotionally, feeling the higher and lower vibrations. Talk about a roller coaster ride. Anything is possible with these energies. You might find changes and glitches all around you. Feeling your guides or galactic visitors coming in. Realistic, vivid dreams that might have been real. All of these types of things are of you and for you. It's the time you are in. Everything is coming together to bring you to the highest version of you. You are in it. Can you feel the change all around you? It's even in the air. It's happening all around you. Enjoy this time. Be present. Notice the little things. Share and anchor your light, Divine Ones. I'm thrilled to be here and on this very important journey with you. Much love and light. A girl in the universe.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amanda Lawrence. Currently strong incoming energies. They stirred as many multiple and blissful vibrations of light codes. Now has altered to strong incoming spiral energetics. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. Welcome September. I cannot believe we are here already, but I guess time flies by so quick in the last years. What is September all about? What is important for us? What do we need to know? September holds the vibration of the number nine, which means endings, transitions from the old into the new. It is the energy of not being in the old anymore, but not being in the new either. Somewhere in between, like a void of sorts where we just are, not always knowing what is happening and where we are going or what we need to do next. The energy we are in for some days now is bringing us into September like energy. The last stage before a new cycle begins for us personally and also as a collective. We are receiving new energy into our personal and planetary systems. The old that is ready to leave is being revealed, brought into light from the shadows. We are receiving the information we need to clear out the old of our systems and use the energy of creation to create the lives we desire and we always wanted but we didn't know how to get there. This is where the number nine comes in with its energy of creation. It is time to create. It is time to live your life in a new way, a new direction. What would you like to create? How would you like to change your life? What do you desire? Listen to the guidance of your soul and create. You are ready for the next step. See them. And from Divine Angel of the Light, Holger Kirchhoff, The greatest and most glorious of alien nations is indeed the initiation into the power of open-hearted pure love in the highest degrees. So be it, so it is. Big, big thanks, majestic love light of Christ. Align, purity, lighted up majesty, the beauty of your soul will glorify the whole. Be you as we free for all to see, feel to live, and much love to give. In the golden age of now, with all of creation, and purest love to glow. Adonai, Esaya, Amenti. And from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Rick Jewers. The people worldwide are uniting and activating the supreme absolute law. This is the divine natural law that is the highest law and rule of law upon the planet for all. The people have no choice and are taking matters into their own hands, supported by the light portions contained within existing police and military forces as these forces split the light against the dark. It truly is no battle, for the people are the majority, and as humanity sees the great threats upon their children by governments, Governments do not have a prayer in hell. At the same time the above is occurring, we the light already have in place 
the new comfort and freedom reality for all, everyone just needs to be aware it is here, has already been created and sign up. It is the divine plan. It is inevitable. It is imminent. It is at your doorstep. You only need to make the choice and spread your choice worldwide for all to see. We got this. Love and light, Rick. And from Divine Sister of Delight, Laura Pleiadian, the evolution of your frequency and DNA. Entering into the fullness of you and all that you are consciously is the evolution of your awareness to that which the heart is eternally aware of. This is what being present is. We activate your DNA now. Being consciously, it is a state of consciousness that is the eternal flow that is the most natural and purest way of being. It is the unification state of pure being, with the highest levels of the soul, yet here also. This is the heart existing as the pure love awareness that allows the awareness of the higher levels to only flow through you. This is what being present is, and this is what now is. Now is not connected to time. Now is a state of consciousness and a state of being that exists through the heart. The heart is eternity. Love is the pure state of being. Love is the highest level of pure being. Love exists only through the heart, through the purity of being. I am present with you, and the energy of Venus is coming through profoundly as the creation of love and the fulfillment of the earth plan and your ascension is about this embodiment of pure love. Most people do not truly know what love is. That is all shifting. Love can only begin with you loving yourself. True love involves no attachment. True love is the beauty of everything all at once. The joy and ecstasy of every moment. The heart lives and knows itself as. Everything shifts with true, eternal, divine love. It is the fulfillment of all states of being. It is the mastery of form. This is the beloved eternal union that all desire to live through. The completion of everything. Your DNA now vibrates at this. When the heart leads in every way, in all moments, as certain as the breath flows, so does the perfection of the embodiment all came to experience and actualize. We initiate your DNA in the fullness of this. This is all there is. It is the fulfillment of everything through being, your divine being and love. From the new divinehumanity.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Leaders of Light. Visualize a world filled with love and awe, a place of unity and happiness, where manifestation is instant, a community of high vibrational beings. See us in unconditional harmony and love, a multidimensional wonderland. Focus on your heart and connect to us. Infinite being you are, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh, we have an opportunity to release feeding the ego through repetitive thinking. This has become an addictive pattern that is best to put our efforts into quitting cold turkey. Possibly you don't feel justified or heard or are triggered by someone and now you can't stop thinking about it. We need to accept that we won't be gratified in that dynamic relationship experience and to instead raise the vibration into the light and find neutrality. This is how to pass these tests and ascend with victory. This is a part of pulling back energy for harvest. The Most High has greater offerings of service and blessings through you that is requiring your time, energy, and thoughts. Wisdom is here supporting you to shift the consciousness out of mind control and into truth and calmness. These are two important attributes that make you a great sovereign leader in New Earth. Are you ready to evolve? Are you ready to embrace who you really are? The Most High is putting an end to generational self-sabotage through negative thinking, giving our power away through judging and shutting down receiving love. Transformation is available through seeing your triggers and choosing God's way of ending these patterns for liberation and new beginnings. If you would like that now for you and your family, say yes. We are choosing to squash this here and now for us and our future generations, one and done. New heaven on new earth is birthing through us, and the next level of ascension we are embarking on. The light is coming from within, healing the inner dialogue for rebirth, Christed. Receive this healing and transmutation of subliminal subconscious patterns, releasing the seed point of trigger wounds. Divine Masculine Christ Power Restoration is happening in the material world 
through this fire purification. The land that was purified by fire in July 2021 is supporting the washing away of sins. For us rainbow warriors to regain sovereignty and leadership as guardians of the earth. God is preparing his spiritual warriors for the next step in God's plan of unity, love, and a balanced, healthy relationship with us, his children, and us with him, our Father. The universal law of oneness is now being revealed. Avoid confusing this with the law of one, which is Anunnaki mind control that perpetuates the ego. Oneness includes truth, which is being revealed. God is digging deep and uprooting what has been hidden in this September and October 2021. The truth is setting us free to leave the past behind and continue creating new earth with the knowledge and wisdom you have gained in earth school. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, at a cosmic level we begin this new energetic month of September by having a new moon at 14 degrees Virgo on September 6th. We therefore enter into September purified, rebirthed, into the illumined being that we in essence truly are. Virgo an essence that will be very present together with Libra energies during this month. And Virgo energies is all about the rejuvenation that comes when we first have dissolved all remnants of the old, allowing space for our authentic being and purpose to emerge. A mission that Virgo reinforces, for it is all about giving itself into service to all. On September 10th, Venus enters Scorpio. Venus, the planet of love and abundance, which is just a consequence of the first one, and Scorpio is going to help us tremendously in going deeper into the depths of our being to find all the guidance that we need for our new journey. Some will be already manifesting it, while others are yet in the initial creational phases. All is according to our soul's original plan and micro-personal cycles, which is why it is so important to know ourselves profoundly. On September 14th, Mars enters Libra, in a month where discernment is key. We have this fierce essence from Mars finding rest, balance, and peace in loving Libra. This is what is taking place within ourselves, for we have learned how to master our egoic impulses, how to overcome the need to act when it's time to just be, and how to remain observant. This is going to help us channel our impulsiveness, courage, which is often can emerge in the form of anger with love and a higher understanding, as it is pivotal to reflect from an inner space of deep communion with our God self before making decisions that will not benefit all. As we approach the end of the month, on September 20th, we have a full moon in Pisces, another wonderful sign for us to dive deep into our illumined essence, communing with our God self for higher guidance. This is a moon for us to be sensitive, as with Pisces we have the opportunity to remember how to act as compassionate beings, which does not involve interference from conscious witnessing. On another hand, this moon brings creativity through soul communion, as Neptune harmonizes with the moon. This is also a time for us to release delusions and embody the higher illumined aspect of us that truly sees beyond illusions what is real from what is not. A time as well for higher communication and connection, as we too will have the sun trying Pluto and Mercury trying Jupiter. On September 22nd, the sun enters Libra. It is here when we welcome the equinox, and with it, the peak of the stabilizing frequencies received all this month. If you look closely, for one only needs to feel rather than seeking knowledge from outside. All this month offers us precious energies for us to balance every single aspect of ourselves and hence outer lives as they are a reflection of how we feel inside. It is up to us to take the opportunity each month to focus on an aspect of ourselves and work with it rather than waiting with open arms to be blessed or cursed as it is used to be in the ancient times. For now we know that we create it all from within by being devoted and doing our inner work. On September 23rd, Neptune, Quintile, True Node, and at the end of the month, on September 27th, Neptune will too, Quintile, True Node. Neptune is the dreamer, but also the intuitive one, as it dwells in the subconscious. Neptune, in co-creation with the True Node, is about becoming more sensitive, obtaining more clarity about our soul desires, and go for what makes us feel alive and in perfect resonance with our mission. This is about embracing creativity and expanding into it, moving forward into a new direction. 
one that is now ruled by our desire to create something luminous that benefits all and that brings love, joy, and healing to everyone. These aspects are going to give us a strong push for us to begin creating from this moment, rather than constant looking back into the past or possible futures. We end the month with Mercury retrograde at 25 degrees of Libra on September 27th. As you know, I do not feed this limited belief of Mercury being retrograde. I can only inform of the date it turns retrograde for those who resonate with it. Mercury and Libra, whether retrograde or not, as the essence does not vary, as it just the perception we have from our human view, is about bringing balance into our mental plane, although at this time it's going to have more impact on the collective mind, helping them to bring more diplomacy, at a time when there are many conflicts arising, as well as global equilibrium. This is going to be a month for us to keep dwelling into the illumined and peaceful essence of our soul, for there are many distractions that can make us fall apart and come back into old states of being. The most important to contribute to a more peaceful and loving planet is to precisely create the same frequency from within and remain there as long as possible, even though as humans there will be challenges that may often make us oscillate between two different frequencies. Staying into our loving God presence and acting from the same space is the only thing that will help us bring more compassion and a higher understanding at this tumultuous time in the current planetary shift. Wishing you a loving September, beloved ones. With infinite love, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Mars in Virgo, opposite Pallas in Pisces. Sun in Virgo, sesquiquadrant Pluto, retrograde in Capricorn. The sesquiquadrant is a cumbersome aspect, inclined towards overwrought reactions. We tend to overdo, overthink, overplay. Often it deflects us from the real issues at hand. With Mars also opposing Pallas, we don't know whether to fight or surrender. Keep trying to fix or throw it away. Sun Pluto feels all or nothing, but maybe there is a middle way. Wait. Change your strategy. Let go of power struggles. Stop trying to control everything and just be. Others will do as they will. Allow for gray areas of understanding. Make peace with your shadow. Remember you are a co-creator with the universe. Gaze into the void without fear. It's the place where stars are born. Self-trust is the rocket fuel required to change your life. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 1, Red Magnetic Dragon. Magnetic is the name for the number one, and today is the very first day of a whole new Zolkin cycle. New beginnings start here. Whether you want to change your life or start a new project, this is a great day to proclaim your intentions to succeed. The key words associated with number one are attract, unify, and purpose. On number one days, we can feel compelled to find a purpose. Once this purpose is identified, we can then proceed to attract what we need to follow the task through to completion. For smaller projects, ideas, a wave spell can prove to be a useful tool. Start out on day one with the promise to yourself you will complete by the last day. For bigger things, you can use the whole Zulkin cycle in the same way. So if you want, you can use today to find a purpose that will motivate you enough that you'll see it through to the end. Today is Red Dragon, and its keywords are nurture, being, and birth. It symbolizes new beginnings, but also it's about taking care of yourself. This Dragon Day falls on a portal day, which only happens twice in the Zulkin, and so that gives a nice boost to the energy of the day. It's a great day for taking it easy and being kind to yourself and others. Find a nice comfy cave to hide in for a while and see how much better you'll feel afterwards. Once you are in a relaxed mood, contemplate your new beginnings and meditate on the plans you have. The guide for the day is Red Dragon also, a double helping of nurturing and birth. And out today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Magnetic Dragon, Kin 1. 1st of September 2021, birthing a new era, 1-9-2021 equal 15, equal 195 equal 114, equal 15 equal 6, day codes, 1, new beginnings, leader original, 15, charisma, alchemy, magnetism, 6, heaven, Christ, family, harmony, love, the month year codes, 9, endings, destiny, service, humanity, grace, 
5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 14. Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition. Ken 1. New Beginnings. Galactic Activation Portal. A divinely heaven-sent portal for a fresh new start. Welcome to September. September is the ninth month in the Gregorian calendar and as much promises big things. The nine relates to humanity, grace, and compassion, care and concern for our global family. The nine activates our destiny and our greater mission through divine service, which all beautifully align with the electric seed year of bonding together in service to humanity. The nine also relates to the bigger complete picture and completion. We have a paradox this month, as we have the nine endings code aligning with the new beginnings through the start of a new spin of the Zolkin in the dream spell galactic calendar. September heralds in a new season during the equinox on September 23rd, 2021. In the northern hemisphere, it marks the coming of autumn fall, while in the southern hemisphere, we are welcoming spring, symbolizing new growth and new beginnings. The nine and one create the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. We have a cycle of decay in order to create the humus, the black gold, the fertilizer to fortify the new fertile soil in order for the new seeds to grow. Five universal month. September is the ninth month in 2021, which reduces to a five year. The five is all about freedom versus the confinement, imprisonment, and we are really pushing this lesson to the limit. We have experienced extreme limitation through these draconian lockdowns. Now with all these Aquarian energies arising in the new Zulkin cycle, the path is opening to release us from our cages and finally experience the expansion that freedom brings. Get ready for the jailbreak out of the matrix, planetary kin. The 9 and 5 codes adds up to 14, which reduces to a 5. So the freedom code is doubled this month through the year and universal month codes a very promising sign. The number 14 relates to media attention, gaining recognition for your service and life path, being recognized and rewarded for our gifts and achievements. You should begin to feel your career and life plans bringing new opportunities to move forward once again. A divine new beginning. We have now completed our journey with the brilliantly elegant yellow star as we bid adieu to the beautiful influence of Lamat who has sparked our creativity and opened our eyes to the beauty, peace, and harmony that exists in our world. Yellow Star reminds us to slow down and let our lives become a poetic work of art, a lesson that our global family needs to learn and implement in this new cycle. Our life is the canvas and we are the artists, and so we are now launching into impending stardom, ready to take center stage as the shining stars in our own life journey. We are commencing a new story now, so it is time to paint the first chapter. Today marks the beginning of a fresh new 13-day wave spell with the red dragon as our guide. This is the first new wave spell which kicks off our new higher octave spin of the Zolkin Mayan calendar for the next 260-day, 9-month journey. The red magnetic dragon is our host, kin number 1, as we are escorted back to the womb of creation for some much-needed divine nurturance through the dragon tribe. How will you nurture and pamper yourself and your family each day, and what creation will you birth? These are the questions to consider during this wave spell. Life just keeps getting better and better each and every day. Today's question is how can we birth our beautiful new compassionate world by loving and supporting each other in our united global family? Divine blessings for a pain-free and natural birthing process. In la queca la kin. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 1, Red Magnetic Dragon. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to nurture. Attracting being, I seal the input of birth with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this beautiful day of powerful activations and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. 
And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of our monthly pledges and donations that we're able to continue this work. I'd like to thank Divine Brostar of the Light Stewart for raising your pledge on Patreon today. Thank you very much. And for those on our Patreon tribe, please check and make sure that the transaction went through today, being the first of the month. Many people dropped out again because of a problem in their processing. So if you could please log into your account and make sure it went through, we'd greatly appreciate it. And if you'd like to help support us and make a pledge to help us to be able to continue doing this work, you can make a monthly pledge on our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or you can go to patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Daphne Caradanis, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Sistar. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Pamela Marshall, for your donation today. Thank you very much. We appreciate each and every one of you supporting us on this great mission. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so at our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also take the time thanking everyone to support my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And also please go support her YouTube channel, Luna Goddess Art, where she teaches her many beautiful, amazing, creative art styles and practices. Now let us complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sisters of the Light and a very powerful prayer, Puja. Pleiades 1 Messages, September 1st, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Terrans in realignment with greater purpose. Doubts are continually resolved. Re-entry portals are opened positively. Closures of intense cycle happen. Hermetic synchronization started. 49% non-regressive. Hermetic reverberations in progress. 89% non-regressive. Misaligned frames are erased. Spiritual reconstructions in progress. De trauma purges in progress. Divine continuations expand. Specific transmitters affected. Exchanges in progress. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1. Potentiating Nevic grid building. From DisclosureNews.it And from Divine Sister of the Light, Vela Diane. September 1st. 23. One is pure, Virgo house. Side by side, Holy Mary stands within thy hands, one in Trinity. Holy Mary, divine love of purity, I pray with divine love for my body and my soul. I ask thee to provide for them both health and strength and to protect them both. I ask thee to protect them from ever negativity. O holiness, I ask you to dwell within me your divine light. I ask thee to enlighten my mind, strengthen my will, glory, and grace I shall be. Our Lady and Archangel Michael, its holy divine love, they walk as one with Lord Yeshua Christos, called down from heaven into our presences, legions of angels under your command, to protect all your children and those who reach out to you, divine Holy Mother. I ask of thee all the things I ask of my guardian angel. My guardian angel, under thy intellectual and volitional protection, I place myself. I ask thee to illumine my mind. I ask thee to strengthen my inner light self-power, my memory, and my imagination. Help me to remember the things I should and wash away all negative thoughts. Help me to associate the things I should and not to associate the things I should not. To stay within the balanced mind and to understand within my consciousness and a clear heart within divine love I shall remain. Prayers are heard. And with that, thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. And with these powerful energy codes coming in, keep anchoring them deep into the earth, and these energies will continue pulsing in until full compression breakthrough, until we raise in frequency to create the solar flash, the heavenly light, 
the light of all lights, which emanates from the core of your being, together the 144,000 combined with the heavenly light, the holy light that resonates at the still center of their presence, their being, combined together, creates the flash, the event. Many call the holy rapture, which is Christ consciousness for all living beings. That means living in the love, the light, the heart of creation and living from that still center of the eternal now of Buddha consciousness, cosmic consciousness. Really go deep, dive deep and feel into these energies. Feel what it brings to the surface from the core of your essence and then transmit that out into the field, into this realm to assist all of our team, ground crew, 144, earth angelics, in this great ascension mission for Gaia and all her children. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for your support. We appreciate and are grateful for each and every one of you. Have a beautiful and blessed awakening journey. Be sure to make this day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.